Steve, why Brett Ferris? Well, he's been in very good form all season. You know, at the start of the year, uh, we, we had a serious look at him being involved in the ETS squad initially. Uh, there was serious competition for places in that back row, some, some outstanding players, and we just wanted Brett to, to be consistent for a longer period of time, and he's shown that, he's done that, and he's forced his way into this 20-man squad for the game against the Exiles. And the beauty of it is he was initially selected back in 2011 in the ETS squad. It shows that you'll give players a chance when they've missed out you know, in, in previous squads. Yeah, we've had a couple of players who've done that. You know, Richard Marler probably springs to mind as well, a player who you know, was on the international scene. He went back to the Knights for a, for a short period of time and has found his way back into the senior group and back into the squad. And Brett's, Brett's the same. He's, you know, he's had a, a change of clubs. At the back end of last season, it's sort of re rejuvenated himself and he's come back playing with a lot of confidence, a lot of belief in himself and he's, he's going to be a welcome addition to the group. And what will he bring to the squad? Well, I think I just mentioned his confidence there. He's playing in a winning team. You know, he, he's attacking very, very well. You know, he, he's enjoying his rugby league by the looks of it at this moment in time and, and when you get that, you, you get a, a very good player. A number of players have missed out through injury, the likes of Callum Watkins, Danny Maguire, Carl Ablett. Is it a great shame that they're not going to be involved? It's disappointing. You know, when you pick your England team, you know, if everybody's available, the, the, the job is even tougher than, than it is now. It's an extremely tough job. Uh, picking, picking an England team, you know, full stop, you know, there's some outstanding players. There's some good players who aren't picked in this squad. There's some good players who are, who are outside of the squad. And that's how it should be for an international setup. So it's disappointing that those players have been unavailable for selection. But if I'm being realistic, you know, we're never ever, as an England team, going to have every player available. That's the same now and it, it will be the same for the World Cup at the end of the year. It's just the nature of our sport. Is that one of the hardest calls to make when you've got to ring the likes of John Wilkin and Gareth Carvel, who have been in the ETS and, and miss out this time? It's tough, you know, they are tough calls, but you know, I think that the All England group understand that, you know, quite often it's not that you're playing poorly when you're not picked for an England team, it's just that somebody else is playing a little bit better than you are at this moment. And, and that's the case for, for quite a few of our players. It's, um, it's tough, but they all understand as well that to be successful, we need more than just 17 players. We've had that in the past and it, it's not been successful. We're building a bigger uh, group up. The players will respond. I'm sure there'll be players who, who are in this group now. They'll need to play well. It is an opportunity for them to, to play well and, and really push ahead for, for the end of the season in the World Cup. But if they play poorly, it actually works against them as well. So it's a double-edged sword and the players who are selected this time round, I'm sure, will be uh, batting around in Super League over, over the, the, the second half of the season and really pushing on. And how important is this game against the Exiles? <clears throat> well, you know, our All England programme um, is important, uh, but there's certain aspects of it that have even greater importance. And I think when you, you get the mixture of a camp, when we spend a week together with a high intensity game at the end of it against what is going to be a very, very experienced Exiles team, you know, full of, you know, players who, who know how to play the game inside out, it's going to be a very tough game. We've had it for the last two years uh, and it's not going to be any different this year. Are they really intense affairs? Are they up there with the likes of Australia and New Zealand? Well, the numbers and statistics just show it. You know, the ball's in play for a lot longer than it is in Super League. There's more play of the balls, there's more tackles to be made, there's more carries to be made. Everything goes up by a huge number and the players feel that it's it's a, a different type of tightness that they're feeling in Super League and it's more akin to what a Test Match Arena is, is like. And what's your thoughts on, you know, one, one, one eye on, your, on the mind of, of World Cup at the end of the year? Is that still at the back of your mind or... You know, how's your focus at this stage? Is it just about exiles, or do you yeah, keep concentrating? Pro that? Probably not, Danny. To be fair, you know, at this stage, it's it's about this game, and the players are the ones who have re really set that platform as well. You know, we we got together right back in March at RAF Cranwell, and we, and we looked at the things we've been doing over the previous years, and we looked at what was ahead for this year. And, and one of the things that came back from the playing group was, let's forget the World Cup, let's concentrate on making sure. This Exiles game gets done, gets done in the right manner and we get the job done and then we'll concentrate on it afterwards. And it was really pleasing coming from that group. Of course, you know, we've got some players, like I said, who aren't selected who are going to come into contention at the end of the year. And we've got some players based out in Australia who will come into contention. But we will deal with all those issues uh, once we get this one wrapped up and out of the way. One of the burning issues is, is your half-back partnership. Who are you going to go with? Well, we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. We've got some players who are in very, very good form, you know. You know Richard Myler, Rangi Chase. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, have been have been fantastic. You know Kevin Sinfield's our captain. You know Rob Burrow and James Roby was back now into our group. You know we've got a, a, a complement of halves there that you know I'm really really pleased with. And it's going to be some tough calls to make at the back end of next week.